What's good with YouTube? It's your man, Cosplay Ray, and we are live. And uh, welcome to another episode of We Are Epic Cosplay. And I just decided I'm going to do a quick video. So excuse the backdrop. It's not set up. But I'm just doing a quick video on a chest armor plate. I know I've done an armor chest plate before. Um, so it's kind of in the same idea but this time I'm not gonna put any tape on my chest or anything like that I found some templates for my from my Arkham Knight Batman suit that I did so what I'm doing is I'm attempting uh, to redo the chest plate on my Arkham Knight Batman build now, a lot of people might be like, what are you talking about? You don't need to touch it. I'm like, okay, maybe I don't, but you know, you know how I do. So, um, I don't know. I've been looking, you know, I see other people's Batman symbols and they got their symbols a lot closer, I feel, than I got mine. And, you, you know, hashtag, I cosplay my way. Um, but I, you know, it's your cosplay. So, if you feel you want to try to see if it, you can improve on it by all means improve so what I did is I went to the vinyl cutter and I printed up I don't know why I didn't think of this when I was building it I, I might not have had the vinyl cutter at the time but I went and I scaled a bat symbol to roughly about how I how wide I thought it should be and being that it is and the actual design, I was able to scale it how I want and get the symbol looking exactly how I want. I think I pretty much drew that, the one on my bat symbol by hand uh, to fit, to try to fit the parameters of the design of the chest. So, I scaled it down. Now it's exactly the, the, the right proportions for the Arkham Knight bat symbol. And I will be using this for my bat symbol. So, a friend of mine gave me some uh, cosplay foam. And I am um, attempting to make this out of the foam that she gave me. So, thank you, M. Okay, so what I did is I used a, a silver sharpie to draw out my templates and this bat symbol or this bat chest armor plate has some some beveled edges to it so like I said quick video so for the main portion of the plate which will be pretty much right here uh, let's see try to explain this on this edge, which is the center edge, I cut a 45 degree angle outward. Um, for the top part, I think I cut that at a 90 degree angle. Okay, now this is the part that's gonna go on top of that. Here, like so. So, because I cut this at a 90 degree angle, I cut this piece, and this is the edge that's going to connect. I cut that edge probably about at a 35, about a 35 degree angle, because I didn't want it as sharp of a angle. Because the more, if you did like um, a 45, it would it'd go in back a little further. So, this will probably be angled slight bevel but not all the way back so you'll still be able to see a good portion of the shape okay so 90 degree angle here and 35 degree angle inward on the smaller piece remember because that's gonna cause it to go back slightly you don't want to go back too much you just want it to have a slight slight angle Okay, and the next piece is, I believe, we're gonna go to the bottom portion of the pack, which is kind of right about here. Um, not the underneath portion, we're not there yet, but like right about there. 
So I cut this portion, which is the under portion here, again at a 90 degree angle. The next piece that will go here and connect there, I cut that at a 45 degree. So about a 45 or about a 35. Roughly, you, you can decide how steep of an angle you want. These, if you go 45 or more, it's gonna be a really sharp uh, bevel. If you go 30, 35, 30, it'll be slightly less. So once again, it's all about the angles. So 90 degree, and then on the bottom piece here, a 45 degree angle inward. And this is the top piece that's gonna connect to there. So 45 degree angle inward. Then the last piece will be, once this piece has been connected here, will be the under peck. So if I cut the bottom of this piece at a 90 degree angle, once again, uh, I'm gonna cut this at a really sharp 45 degree angle inward. Now this is the top part that's gonna connect to this piece. Now I'm thinking uh, I might not have wanted a, I think I'm gonna go and use my Dremel tool. And instead of having a 90 degree angle here, I think I'm gonna go a 45 degree angle because I want this piece to really kind of get more underneath. Um, especially once it's been heat shaped and it, I put the curvatures in there and anything, I'm gonna really wanna make sure that that piece right there is like almost underneath it. You know, you really want it underneath the, the peck. So 40, right up this top part here, 45 degree angle inward. And I think I'm gonna change this, this piece here, which was a 90 degree to a 45 degree angle inward as well. Because remember, inward, inward, and then those two pieces are gonna connect like a frame. Now, if you go too much, you're gonna get a 90 degree angle. So remember, when you're cutting your angles, if you want a 90 degree, cut it, cut both pieces at a 45. Now, if you want it, you know, change, think of it like that. And the more you change your angle, depends on what you want your angle. So the, if you want it here, I would say maybe, like I said, one piece at 90 degree angle, and then the other piece at 45 degree angle. Or you could do 35s and put them together. You'll you'll see what I'm I'm talking about, but it's your build. Do what you want with it. Use the angle that you want. But that's pretty much how you're gonna get your beveled angles onto the if you're planning to try to make a Batman Arkham style Arkham Knight chest armor plate. All right. So I hope that uh, can I know is a lot information to throw at you but I, I hope that you can kind of figure that the pieces out on how I explained it and I hope the best for you and if you do decide to try to make an armor plate from Batman let me know drop a comment you know and get in touch with me on YouTube and let me know uh, what you've been up to all right so this is your man cosplay Ray signing off of this video all right and as I end all my videos, remember, hashtag, I cosplay my way. You can too. And you should too. Peace.